Uh, it was a lesson learned type trip, especially for us being a young team. Uh, I mean, but we split. You know, we lost one one one. So I think that was really, uh, really big for us as a team. Uh, instead of going there and just losing both games, so I mean, we got out with one game. So, but that was really good for our team and it cheered us up after that tough loss versus Arizona. I can't imagine you've been in any kind of blowouts like that before. Yeah, that I mean, was, that does that do something to your psyche? Do you just kind of question, you know, what's going on here? Yeah, that was that was crazy. Uh, we just honestly, though, we missed. We didn't. We couldn't make that that first half. We played really well with them. We was down three at halftime, and uh, that was my first time playing in that gym, and it was crazy. It was loud. You know, their fans is really loyal to their program. And, I've seen that by playing in that game, but uh, in that second half, you know, they just outscored us, I think, 55 to 26 or something like that. And that just showed them. We got out rebound. Uh, you know, their bigs played really well that game, and they ran anything they wanted. They got into their offense, and we just lost focus, I feel like. But also, we just, we tried, but we just couldn't make shots. But we moved on from it. Played Arizona State, got a win, and now we're back home. Looking forward to the next opponent. You probably know David better than anybody on this team. But what's he like off the court? I know like some of the videos you guys post, people see his personality a little bit. See that that outgoing guy. He kind of seems to be. Yeah, uh, he's a dude that I could say him and Malik Dime are two dudes that if you're down and you know sad, whatever it is, mad. Them two dudes would cheer you up no matter what it is. I mean, Malik by cracking his jokes, just being himself. And then Dave by just, for example, just dancing or just, you know, just being Dave. You know, I've been around him a long time. So I already know and expect what he's going to do. And I know the type of stuff he does. He's just a silly guy, goofy dude, but he's a fun person to be around and a fun person to have on, on this program. Do you think that, that translates to the confidence he shows on the court, being willing to, to take big shots and make big shots and all that? Yeah, that's just what he does. He always been a guy that can shoot the ball well and not even just shoot it. He just always been a guy that had confidence and he needs, like, you know, his teammates to cheer him up. You know, because I've been playing with him in high school. He can get down on himself, but he's really quick to get his confidence back. What Coach Romar said he's still trying to get used to all the different things that David does. And I, one of the things that we've noticed is the, the kind of the baseline, running the baseline and spacing everything and then doing that turnaround three pointer. Um, that's not a move you see all the time. Yeah. And I was wondering, is is that is that unique to him, or is there some other things that maybe we haven't seen yet from him that people should expect to see? I mean, uh, dude can do a lot. You know, he's, he's a real good basketball player, and uh, you know the, the baseline run, turnaround jumpers. I see him. I seen him going a lot. So every time I see him shoot the ball, I put a three up and think it's going in because I've been around him so long. He can sh really shoot the ball. You know, we all have our times when we miss shots, so you can't get mad, you know. And I'm pretty sure Coach knows that too. Because if it goes in, then what can Coach say? But if it doesn't go in, Coach can just say, you know, take a better shot, or whatever the case is. But, you know, every time he shoots the ball, I just feel like it's going in. And now, it looks like, I mean, you're making your threes and things like that too. It looks like the the work that you've been able to put in is, is paid off as well. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, uh, of course. You know, hard work always pays off. And I never get down on myself. And if I'm not making a jumper, just like Coach said, you know, if you're not scoring, just try to do other things to help your team win. So everything's just falling in place, and I'm just taking it one game at a time. Hey, just the things that you've seen from um, guys like Dominique this year, for like him to just sort of stay with it. How has he been in practice, and just you know, and how has that sort of translated to what's been happening to him lately? Uh, I mean, I'm real proud of that dude because, you know, he doesn't get to play a lot, but he stays positive uh, at all times. He comes ready to practice. He's always one of the first in the gym. And he's always, every time we're leaving the gym, I always see him in there uh, after practice getting shots up. So, you know, it's just, it's a process thing for all of us, but I feel like he's still learning, you know, the system and college period. You know, he's just a dude that's learning, trying to learn. A lot of us learn really quick and you know, get on page right away. But I feel like he's just still learning, but he showed you know, what he can do versus Arizona State. When our bigs fouled out, it wasn't foul trouble. He came up and stepped up big. And uh, you know, I'm just proud of him to see from him 
when we first got here to where he grew. Before you guys got here, did you know much of him then, or did you guys? Sort yeah, of... I knew some of his game because I seen him play in the Las Vegas tournament AAU. He played with Davis, so I seen a lot of the, him and Davis AAU games because they played for Northwest. So like his team out here, you know, I got to watch them a lot. Um, and then he was at you know Tony Rhodes camp. I think that was the first time actually playing against him. And then ever since then. I just been seeing him play and stuff. So, Does Colorado play like anybody you guys have played this year. Uh, I mean, I try not to compare teams. I might do comparing, but I feel like they're a good team overall. Got a good front court, and uh, you know, we just gotta go out, you know, play our game and do what the coaches got for us to do.